Hey, I'm Tim, and today we're going to show you how to fix some crack route lines. So stick with us, and I'll show you how we did it. Okay, the first thing we have to do is we got to get rid of the old grout. So what we got to do is we get ourselves a grout saw. You can get one of these at any of your, your home centers. And we just cut out the old grout. While you're doing this, be very careful not to get your tile. And of course, my crack line is right in the corner, so it's not going to be the most easiest thing to get out. One eternity later. Okay, now that we removed the grout, we need to give it just a little cleaning. I'm just using a simple solution of 50% water and 50% bleach. I'm just going to squirt it into the area. I'm wearing some gloved hands so I don't mess my hands up and some eye protection so it doesn't get it in my eyes. And we just spray the area and then wipe it off with a rag. Let that sit for a minute or two, let's completely dry, and then we'll get on with our grouting. All right, let's begin to grout. I'm using this product right here, Poly, Bren, Poly Blend. One reason that I chose this one, because it was the smallest container. Just read your instructions on the back. This one is very simple. You just fill to the line indicated on the inside of the container. Then we're gonna mix it for about two minutes. Then we're gonna apply it with a float. But for these corners, I'm just going to use the gloved hand. Then we're going to remove the excess. And about 20 minutes after that, we're going to wipe it with a sponge. Let it sit for another two more hours. Come back with a cheesecloth type material to remove the haze off of the tile. Then we let it sit for about 16 hours. So let's mix up our product and get started. Got our grout mixed up. What I'm going to use is my gloved hand. And I'm going to apply it into the corners. Be generous with this. Get it right in there. Now, like I said, if this was on one of the flat walls here, I would use my float, but I found it sometimes getting in the corners, I can use my hand a lot better than I can a float. Run our hands over it remove any of the excess. Now we just wait over 20 minutes and we'll come back and wipe down the wall. 20 minutes later. All right now that we let this set up for 20 minutes we can come back with our clean damp sponge and wipe the grout off the wall there. Washed off. Now once we got the grout wiped off with our clean damp rag, we let it sit for about two hours. Then we'll go back and take any of the haze off of the tile that may be remaining. Two hours later. All right, now we've waited our two hours. Now I don't have any cheesecloth, but I have this tile sponge that I have from a previous job. And now we just basically wipe off this haze right here left on the tiles. It should just wipe right off. Shouldn't be much of it, since we're just grouting the corners there. And once we got that all wiped off, now we just let this sit for 48 hours to let it fully cure before we apply our sealant. Now we play the waiting game. You know, the waiting game sucks. Let's play Hungry Hungry Hippos. Two days later. We let our grout cure. Now we're going to put on our sealer. But we also let it wait a little bit longer. This product recommended that we wait approximately 48 hours for brand new grout. So that's what we did. We waited an extra day, made sure that the grout was fully cured. We put this on. This one is a very easy product to use. Just brush it on, let it sit for about five minutes, 
and then wipe off the remaining. Then you can come back put a second coat on after 30 minutes. So let's get going and apply our product. So what it's saying is they would like you to put on a liberal amount. Just get the bottle of squeeze back like you're in grade school just painting. And it's okay if you go out of the lines because we can wipe off the excess. We'll let this sit for five minutes, come back, wipe it off with some paper towel, and we'll be completed. Five minutes later. All right, it's been about five minutes. Now we can just wipe up any excess that's on the tile. And just let this sit for another 30, and we're gonna apply a second coat. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, now we're just gonna put on our second coat, repeat the same process we did for the first, apply a liberal amount, let it sit for five, and then just wipe off the excess. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. All right, now we've got it completed. We put our second coat on. We're gonna let it sit and dry for a couple hours. The bottle said to let it sit for at least three hours before it's cure, so we can use our shower tomorrow morning, no problem. Now, the whole process was a pretty simple process, but it took some time. One day to remove the grout and clean it up. Then we took and placed in our grout that same day. Then you had to let that sit there for that 48 hour period. Then we came back and we applied a sealant. We gotta let that sit for a couple hours. So in total, it took about three days to complete this project. Pretty simple, save you a lot of headaches in the long run, so I hope this is useful for you in the future sometime and if you like the video make sure you subscribe to us hit that little bell so you get reminders every time a new video comes out if you enjoyed the video why don't you check out these other videos we got here you can take a look at and like always get out there and build something